Hello everybody, this is Sarah Perry, intuitive, medium, artiste, you name it. <laughs> Welcome to this week's guidance, insights and predictions for the week of the 23rd of May 2022. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for tuning in today. And if you haven't done so and would love to do so, then please do like, share and subscribe at the end of this video. And also if you'd like a private reading, then get on down to the website and book something up. Uh, let's see what is coming for this week. Well, abundantly, I do see a lot. There's a lot of potential, but it's coming from play, expansion, ex exploration. Um, I feel like there's going to be a lot of sightseeing. And I don't mean everyone going on holiday and doing a sightseeing tour or something like that. I mean, people are starting to see through their inner sight, through their guidance. Um, intuition is leading people. Um, one big message I'm getting is... <laughs> Be careful who you invite into your home because they may not leave. Um, so if you're feeling a little bit lonely this week or kind of feeling like, oh, I just want some attention. I'm feeling like low in value or in a bit of lack. You know, be remember, you know, if you invite, you meet someone randomly and say, hey, why don't we just go out? and Why don't you come around and we'll have tea together? Or, um, you know, we'll really, you know, it'd be great to catch up again. And it could be friends. It could be new lovers or interest. Um, be aware they may not want to leave too quickly so be certain that you know you're in the right frame of mind when you place the invites it's a similar thing as when you um, receive invites and you accept them you know maybe take some time to think it over this is all the retrograde stuff going on it is a little bit weird um, actually I'm quite enjoying this retrograde I will say because um, as I mentioned it slowed things down a little bit and I'm kind of you know able to kind of just focus a little bit more inward whereas the last few months have just been absolute crazy um, and I'm actually going to use the word nonsense as well because it is a bit bizarre what's been going on um, but this week, I do feel the abundance is starting to come in. But to get that abundance, we must trust, okay? We must be in the flow. The most important thing is to focus on the game right now. Focus on the value of the moment. Now, I posted um, a reading, I think it was a couple of weeks ago now, where um, I mentioned about the sunflower growing in the, the grass, and I put a, a picture up of it. And this morning, the weird thing is that that actual bit of grass has been mown down now, right? First of all, the head got knocked off the sunflower um, because of various animals running in out. And then they literally mowed down the grass. They came along in their little tractor, or this little man did, and mowed it all down. And they've left half the field. It's, it's kind of weird, but it's OK. You know, we'll go with it. Um, but then this morning I went, what's that? And right in the distance... I could see a sunflower growing further away and another patch and it had grown higher. Now, this was like a message. I felt like this is a sign, you know, first of all, the, the sunflower within all the grass that was just poking, you know, wasn't able to see out the top was that beautiful things, you know, those valuable moments we notice within all the chaos and what's important and that there is still something to, you know, that is still growing. Um, and then to see it rising above all on its own, this other new one, it was like, well, it doesn't matter if it gets mown down or cut down, you know, because sometimes we have to let, we've got to cut things away. We have to just um, disintegrate parts of our life, dissolve things, you know, release things in order for something to grow bigger. And it, there's been a lot of questions for a lot of people, even for myself recently, of like, you know, what's this all about? When is it going to be my turn? That kind of thing. And, you know, you keep kind of plowing away at stuff and it's like, where's, you know, and then something crumbles again and you're like, what is the point? But that this morning was the point that it may not be where you're, you know, if you're looking at just the freedom, the flow, the release, and, and you know, what is actually, the, what we don't know could be actually so much better. Um, and getting rid of something that we've relied on actually for so long, which we thought was stability, may actually make space for something better. Um, you know, we, we are, we realise that actually it was, it was out of our comfort zone. It was, you know, it, it wasn't where we were focusing. Do you see what I mean? I think I've just gotten a bit of a muddle there trying to explain that. Right, okay, I'm going to go back because <laughs> I kind of went off. My brain went into the flow then. Um, so basically, this the message is 
where energy goes no, sorry where focus goes energy flows basically so if you're focusing on that big loss then you may not notice what's growing above the grass you know something else was growing a lot higher and that you know to me today it was a sign it was like hey we were talking about the whole sunflower thing and sunflower oil actually today in ukraine um and you know and how people are kind of buying up all this sunflower oil and I was just like looking at this sunflower thinking, well, there's a sunflower, <laughs> you know, I could just go and pick that, you know. And then I just thought, I wonder how many more just grow up when we're not noticing. You know, sometimes there's so much else we don't notice in the world when we become less aware of. We just focus on what we've lost. And that to me was, look, without doing anything, something grows, something is expansive, something. So sit back and receive a bit more. You know, we, we're unable to do anything about certain things in our lives. And if it's not working, then maybe it's a sign to not work it. You know, just play a little bit more. And that's what I've got in this reading. It's like play, expand, explore, look further, use your insight to look further above, beyond, you know, look in a different direction, what you didn't see. And I see new beginnings coming and a much more secure foundations for people something new is being built here you know since the breakdown of everything the last couple of years things are being rebuilt and they they do take time you know it takes time to get the best ingredients the solid foundations for us to walk on there's definitely decisions coming this week contractual agreements i feel things are going to come through that maybe haven't before maybe something will just finally get resolved and go oh okay that's done um but what I am seeing for some people, we may be not wanting it as much as we did, you know, although they may not be wanting it. It's like I wanted it for so long and now actually I've moved on. So the delays work in our favour. I'm seeing a lot of emotional agreements here, commitments coming in or the need to write down you know, the checklist and being absolutely certain of what we want. There is celebration around. So they're saying is, even though some things are negative, really, really take the time to celebrate if you can. I'm seeing sudden wins here, sudden abundance coming in, which will create better security for some people and um, some matters being taken out of our hands. There's a new perspective on what love is, what our heart wants. And it's important to focus on that new perspective. Now, I'm also seeing, I, I did say some things that haven't been resolved will work out. Um, that could be waiting for things to be signed, maybe um, waiting to hear from somebody. I've got like a struggle in general, which will turn out to be a positive and a real blessing and bring more balance and more opportunities. Um, use this lunar eclipse Scorpio energy to learn, to study to look further don't just jump into something because you've been talking about it you know talk about it first discuss it um, research use the communication to research things rather than actually doing it if that makes sense mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't have to you can take action in research it doesn't have to be i've got to get off the ground now i've got to get off the ground um, for some reason the 27th is really highlighting this week for important events to happen some really important turnarounds um i'm hearing news important news um on the radio on the tv across the media um it's like a siren that's what i'm getting it's like this is a warning or this is happening this is coming in maybe it's a weather front coming in i know there's been some really weird stuff going on with the pressure of the heat um but I'm just, it's like a, what I'm getting is the sound of like an alert, some kind of alert. It might be an alert in ourselves where we're getting a wake up call and there's a sudden breakthrough or it's our name has been called. You know, it could be a really positive thing. It may be something we need to be aware of and then a realisation of why something hasn't happened. There's a lot of very strong energy if you've got addictions this week. I feel that if you've got there's a this is a good time to work on those addictions um if they're negative um and to turn them into something more positive take a lighter approach that's what spirit is saying be confident in your relationships there is um new direction about to happen and i feel it's it's important to change tact now um if something isn't working you know if you really feel like you're banging head against a brick wall um 
I'm getting some lovely soul links coming in as well, just unexpected ones, which could be very abundant, especially on um, if you are on holiday. I'm seeing a lot of fun and laughter and um, unexpected occurrences, you know, or meetings with people. Um, revelations will come in writing this week um, and some will be miracles occurring. So be ready for that beautiful flower to rise up within all the the weeds you know that just shines and, and gets you to focus at it um because i really you know as much as there's been some chaotic unexpected events there are some amazing things out there too so you know grab hold of the good stuff just let go of just continuing to focus on what isn't happening and just get on with focusing on what is just give it over just say hey you know what i'm done i've given i've done enough See, that's the best way to receive. Just say to the universe, look, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm giving it back to you now because all I do is like climb this hill and I'm just sliding back down. So off you go, do your stuff. And it does work. Trust me, it really does. Um, if you'd like, again, if you'd like a private reading, you'd like some more information on or insight in your particular relationship, whether it be love, money, career, um, you name it. If you'd like a, a regular subscription with me, a regular reading then get on down to the website and, t and check it out or please feel free to leave your comments below and ask any questions and i will do my best to answer them uh, lots of love to everybody out there and i will speak to you soon bye for now